Hi everyone, uh, today I will be discussing with you this question paper that was written on 26 May 2021. If you want to follow what I'll be doing today, just get hold of this question paper and then you'll be able to follow. So my focus today will be on question 3, where we are required to do the break-even analysis calculation. So I'll be working on Excel, where I'll do my calculations. So uh, the information that you are giving there says, Brandy supplied the following information for October 2020. The total fixed cost for this company were 4,500. The total variable cost were 11,700. The number of units that were produced were 600 and the selling price per unit was 45 rand. So you are required to use the given information to do the following calculation for October 2020. Uh, number A is variable cost per unit, B, marginal income per unit, C, break uh, even quantity. So I'm going to use row number one just to put in my numbering nicely. And then in B um, column, I'm going to put um, my first calculation that I'm going to do. And then in C, I'm going to type the description of the the calculation that I want to do, which is the variable cost per unit. Okay, so I see that I need to enlarge my column so that I can see everything in it. Then in column D, I'm going to put only the equal sign uh, because this is a calculation. So I want it to show nicely, uh, to show all the details of how I calculated my variable cost per unit. Now, in column E, that is where I'm going to put my uh, my formula on how I'm going to calculate this, which is total. Looking at the information that I'm giving, I can see that I have total variable cost, which I can divide with the number of units. Okay, so this is supposed to show as a divide, so I'm going to put um, my case up back to uh, that cell then I'm going to underline, okay? I'm doing this so that it shows that I'm dividing. Okay, so if you don't want to use this formula, you can use this one. I'm going to put it here. If you don't want to use that one, the, this, this format of a, a formula, you can use this one, which is still acceptable. So you can say variable, cost per unit equals to total variable cost and then use a front slash to divide by the number of number of units these are this is, is one is the same formula as this one it's just that the format or the layout is different. So you can decide whether you want to use this one or whether you want to use this one. So I'm going to continue with this one. To continue, I'm going to put my equal sign again. Then I put how much is my total variable cost is 11,700. And how much is my number of units? My number of units is 600. So again, I'm going to put a divide, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to underline 11,700 so that it shows as if I'm dividing. And now I'm going to put my final answer there, which is equals to, I can click where is 11,700 and divide by 600. And then it tells me that my total, my variable cost per unit is 19 rand 50. Then if you are using this format, you can, it's still easy. You can say equals to 11,700, um, Okay, maybe if we can want to do it like that, 11,700 divided by the number of units, which is 600, which indicates um, the rent divided by the quantity. Then again, I'm going to continue and say now, and now I'm going to put a formula that must give you, give me the, the, the results, which is equals to 11,700 divided by 600. You will see that you still achieve the same results. So that's it. You can use any of this formula, the one that you are compatible with.
So I'm going to continue here now. Calculate uh, number B. Uh, B number B. You need to calculate um, the marginal income. The marginal income. Marginal income again equals to. We put the formula. Selling price per unit a minus variable cost. Variable cost per unit. Okay, that is our formula there. Which will be equals to how much is the selling price per unit where you're given? Yes, you are given that the variable, I mean, the selling price per unit is 45 grand. So you're going to say 45 grand minus how much? Minus this one, which is 19 rand 50. Then you can type it there 19 rand 50. Then here we are going to get the results, which is you need to put a formula equals to 45 minus 19 rand 50. And then it will tell you that your marginal income is 25 rand 50. Now I'm going to do number C. Number C, I need to calculate the break, the break even quantity, which is equal to total fixed cost uh, divide divide by marginal income marginal income income per unit or marginal income so this is the marginal income that you calculated on the previous calculation so this will be equals to how much are your uh, total fixed cost? Your total fixed cost is 4,500 divided by how much is your marginal income? Your marginal income is 25 rand 50. Okay, so it's still showing how we are going to calculate it now. Equals to now we have to put a formula which is equals to 4,500 divided by 25 rand 50. Okay, you will see that when you do this formula 4,525 divided by 25 rand 50, it gives you 176 units or items to be produced and you cannot produce a half of a unit. So it means this formula is not going to work for us. This formula is not going to work for us because we need all, all the units to be completed. So I'm going to put another correct formula here, which is called round up. So the formula that you must use here to achieve all the completed unit is equals to round up. And then you open bracket. And then you put that formula that you put there, which is 4,500 divide by 25 rand 50 25 rand 50 and then you put a comma and then you put a zero when you put a zero you are telling the computer to round off to the nearest 10 you round up to the nearest 10 so when you press enter in this case it's going to give you the completed units which are 177 so for break even analysis this is going to be correct. This is going to be correct. We can't uh, uh, manufacture 176 units because we still, in this case, we'll, we'll, we can't uh, um, produce a, a, a unit that is not completed. So we need completed units. In this case, we need to pr produce 177 units in order to break even. So... Um, and then after you have completed doing this, you need to go back to your question paper and as a check what else were you supposed to do. They say you type each formula in weights, which is what we have done. You show all the calculation clear and log uh, with logical step, which is what we have done. You display answers with two decimal, uh, with currents with uh, with two decimal. So in the, it means I need to go back here, make sure that this is having a currency 
and also this one must have a currency and that one must have a currency and a and two decimal so i will not put a currency into decimal here because this is quantity then they say insert your own examination number left and a, a, as a header and a printout seven as a right header so it means you must go to insert a header and then on your left you put your id number and then on your right you put print uh print print out seven once you have done that they say save this a uh, uh, calculation is bell be calc and then you must also print this calculation as one page portrait so how do you print as one page portrait you go to file and then you go to print and then this is how it's going to look like is a portrait you print portrait so if you find uh, these videos uh, helping you please subscribe to my channel and also like my videos Thank you.